guys. Sometimes I love when my enemy dies. Woo. So ahead of my time, mainstream way starts letting off live. We can never ever ever level in price. Take that fee and then treble it twice. Yeah, the problem's back. I got flows. Watch your back, come on smoke. Dodge the paps and do bolt. My boys on maximum bolt. All right, coming up next, a UFC Phantom Weight Division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot scoops from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the time. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against the other guy who can really And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back in range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Left-right combo is good. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at both of his and his Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. It's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, and the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. up now. And 
now the damage is about to start. Round two straight ahead. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up his techniques constantly, changing his angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Great punch. Oh, nice combination. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so they can land that beautiful left hand. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, as much as oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how comfortable the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Wildland gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now he hit wow. double leg lands. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. between Dominic Cruz and Uriah Faye. best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Nice one-two there. Archer, there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling. There it is. Time. 
anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the oh, Nice job in the middle. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice. They continue to exchange. The combination lands for him. He is really putting the strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just over two minutes, round one. Right hand upstairs. All right, so able to get the hands going once again. He lands another punch. Nice work on the feet by Fabian. Oh, big sticks up top. That's oh. another one. Didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh. Oh. Just out of range with the big right hand. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, he might be out. a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most important. That was the best one. But what I like about him, forward this punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic ability to land that punch. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Effective strike there by Faye. There's his upper cup, but that one is blocked. Oh, huge right hand! Final seconds around. Oh! Oh, big left. That was strong five minutes. Down. All right, let's get you a replay from that preview. Round two here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Cruz. Now connects with the right. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, if you're sick of us dropping that word hook, don't shoot the messenger because he throws and more often than not, he lands just like he did in the previous round. Found the home for it again. Found the home for it again, and if I'm him, I'm continuing. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back to his feet. The Dominator gets caught with that. Oh, push. that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break it? goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. Oh, and now he slams him to the ground. A beautiful single leg takedown. Lifted him in the air and put him down. Oh, he's attacking choke now. He might get a finish here. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. 
absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. Oh! division fight. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like that. He's hurt really bad. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Nice hook, Lance. The left hook has not missed yet. He has to keep going. Shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he got him hurt bad! A lot of top pressure being applied here. Back to the feet. When guys actually go to their back, that means they're in trouble. So 40 total strikes have landed for Jose Alba. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Ready? Ready? Oh, my 
crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. What a fantastic strike. because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good punch, Lance. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Cody Garber. Punches broke. Whiffs on that offering. Will not feel good tomorrow. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh! Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, and he gets tagged. Oh! decision. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. So 
All right, so the fight is on the way. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of the weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I right, got an angle here. We'll try to change the position. Control DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Now the guy's got on bar, he's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack on bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Strong bottom work here, staying No, he goes back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the tap, so he submits him with the armbar. How about that? Great job, great performance. Goal! Oh, my goodness! What a performance! Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately force the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. We get the official decision. It's a UFC bantamweight division fight. here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at him working and trying to set the limit out. Beautiful hook. Oh! Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Caught the kick. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're gonna try to take it down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it, he tried to just shoot him. Oh, oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. How good is that right hand? Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful. Man, man, that's where DC he massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. 
There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against John Jones in the second meeting. Oh, he's a great job of getting in close and throwing that uppercut from a great angle. You're just gonna stonewall me on that John Jones. I love it. I hit him with a ton of them. Mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you. Whoa! Oh! Like that little man. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded because we get the kickboxing match tonight or You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen it put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. A good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice punch lands over the top. Able to land a combination there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact Wow! Beautiful combination to get the knockdown. Oh, no! Oh! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Good stick. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Blocks that strike. Oh, nice shot by him there to get the takedown. I would think that gets the Olympians' stamp of approval. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic job of getting the takedown when you need it. Sneaky head kick. Nice hook. Oh, big left hook there. Back and forth we go. Oh, the shot's the 
mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. He blocks the punch. Nice straight punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent. there as he blocks the shot. Oh. And now he lands a combination. An uppercut made it. Oh, picture perfect. Holy smokes. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliano's going to stop in this contest. between Sugar Sean O'Malley and Aljamain Sterling. Shades of James Tony. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that bad. Oh, he's out. Oh, wow. That was nasty. What a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense, and we go inside the octagon for... Everything got shit on me. Everything got shit on me. Cause I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. 